Las Vegas is marvelous, ain't it? But it's not your typical city to live in. Okay, yes, over two million residents do live here, and we also have the regular bills that we have to pay every month. I've lived in Las Vegas for over 18 years now, and I've lived all over the Las Vegas Valley, so I've experienced what it's like to live in different neighborhoods here. So if you are at all curious on how much it costs to live in Las Vegas, here's my example of every penny that I spent in January 2023, so hopefully this is a good example. I did do this video exactly one year ago, but so much has changed, so I figured that you guys needed an update and boy have things changed all right let's find out what it takes to live a month in las vegas now i don't know if you guys remember but last year in june of 2022 i did a move-in video called my new las vegas bachelorette pad i haven't really done an update video of what it looks like now that i've you know fully decorated but here it is so I live in a one bedroom apartment. It's about 700 square feet and this is more than enough for me to be honest. Here is my lovely kitchen where I've shot many HelloFresh videos here before. This is my favorite room in the entire apartment. Um, of course, the living room where I do all my Netflix watching, YouTube watching. I eat late dinners right here, you know, wind down at night with a little bit of wine and just hang out as late as I want with nobody telling me to turn down the TV. And I don't know if you guys remember, but this unit does come with a wine fridge, which is the best thing ever. I mean, I feel like I could never live without one ever again. And guys, check out this plant. This plant is wild. It's my spirit animal right here. And this right here is the corner where all the magic happens, AKA my editing, my scripting, all my brainstorming, right here in this little corner. Look how small it is. Then we have my bedroom right here. I told you guys this last time, um, I'm not a very good decorator, so I did have a lot of people help me in this, but as you can see, I feel like my place is very minimalistic. And also, this is my favorite bathroom that I've ever had. I mean, look at this. Look at this lighting right here. I feel like I'm in a hotel room just being in here. Just a stand and shower, no tub. I mean, I don't really take baths anyway. Now, even though I just said that I am a minimalistic person, um, this is my Monica closet. I call it the Monica closet because, well, in the show Friends, you know, Monica's very clean, but she just has a mess of a closet, so that's, that's what I have here. Anything that I don't want out there, I will put in here. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick lay of the land so that way you guys kind of understand why I pay so much for this. All right, you ready guys? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you my biggest bill of the month, which is of course this place. So for my apartment, my one bedroom apartment, I pay $1,000. $930.54. I mean, that's a lot. Just because here in Las Vegas, I mean, it is considered to be a little bit cheaper than, you know, like Los Angeles, New York, places like that. But here you can get a one bedroom anywhere from like a thousand, maybe up to $2,000, maybe even more. Of course, depending on what side of town you do live on. I immediately fell in love with this place and I worked very hard for it. So I felt like that was a way of me telling myself it's okay to have it. Now in that 1930, I included everything. So of course, like your water, trash, my parking spot, other fees like utilities, stuff like that. Here's some of the other home expenses. Um, uh, so for my electricity, it was $30.17, which I actually don't think that that bad. I mean, of course it is January, so it's not like I have the AC on going all day. I mean, I get the heater once in a while. And then for my internet, which I have Cox Communications, uh, it's gonna be $114.08. That's for the fastest internet. I mean, I need to get these videos out like ASAP. Now, a really quick side note. If you guys saw the video last year, you'll know that all I was doing was renting a room and my rent back then was $500. And that was actually pretty cheap. So nowadays, if you just want to rent a room, expect to pay, yeah, probably anywhere from about $500 to maybe $800 or so. But of course, it does depend on just what side of Vegas you live in. Yeah, so basically my rent quadrupled just in one year. So just be prepared on where you want to live. All right, guys, let's keep this party going. Let's talk about my car for a second now. I own a Hyundai, which I did buy in 2014, so obviously it's paid off, for car insurance. Now, I personally just like to pay everything up front if I could, so I do pay um, my car insurance all at once. You know, I pay for all six months together. My car insurance is through Progressive, so if I was to divide those six months, you know, so for one month, it's like I would be paying $101.66. Not totally bad. I mean, I've paid a lot worse. I mean, when I was 18 years old, I paid $300. And then as for gas, I pay $154.26 in a month. Not totally bad. I mean, I do go to Costco and get my gas there. So of course, Costco is gonna be way cheaper than like a regular gas station. Everybody keeps telling me to get a new car, which would be nice, but I think not having a car payment is even nicer 
answer, but if I was to get a new car, I think I would get maybe the new Bronco. What do you guys think? Comment below what your opinion is on the new Bronco and if I should get it. All right, so of course we have to talk about groceries, hence why I brought you to Trader Joe's. So majority of my groceries, I do go to either Costco or I come here to Trader Joe's. Once in a while, maybe I'll go to like Walmart, maybe even Target as well. Now remember guys, it is just me that I'm buying everything for. I'm not married, I live by myself, and I don't have any kids. So for groceries in the month of January, I spent $142.44. Dang, my car eats more than I do. Now, I do think it's because I mainly eat out a lot. I mean, you know, because of the videos. Yeah, about $142. Pretty decent. Also, I do want to talk about what I do to, I guess, kind of like take care of myself. So I guess kind of like health-wise. So for the gym that I go to, they're all workout classes. So I'm not like in a, like a regular gym, I guess you could say. What do y'all think though? Do you think I actually lost weight? Again, I do like to just pay everything up front if I could. I basically bought a year membership that cost $1,399, and that was their Black Friday sale, I know. For the gym, if I was to divide it you know, into one month, I pay $116.58 for the month. Imagine if I just got it month to month, I mean, it would be way more. Guys, if you don't work for a corporation and you have to get your own health insurance, it's really expensive. So again, this is just for me, it's just for medical and dental, and I pay, $293.45. I know, I mean, I just, I'd rather have it because you never know what could happen, you know? I told y'all, they always have a line. Let's start talking about YouTube expenses. So I told you guys, a lot of things have changed since last year. Now I do have a full-time editor that just super helps me. I also have a cameraman, I have a thumbnail man, and then I have a lot of subscriptions that help me run my YouTube, such as Adobe Premiere, which is what I edit on. I also have Epidemic Sound, which is where I get all my music. I have Google Storage, which I have two terabytes worth of storage, which honestly, I need more. I have Canva, I have Lightroom, and then also a lot of people do think that everywhere that I film, I get it for free. Not true at all. Yes, there are a lot of marketing departments that I do talk to just to seek permission out, and sometimes, yes, they will comp my meal or whatever the activity is but sometimes I don't get anything for free or I don't even talk to a marketing department for example in January I did a video called best happy hours of Las Vegas and in that video I went to Sapporo ketchup blondies and ocean one and at all of those I paid out of my own pocket the only one that I didn't pay for was downtown cocktail room and that was only because a bartender recognized me and decided just to cut me the drink and I was totally intending to pay so make sure you go say hi to Paul when you go to downtown cocktail room in the month of January for all my YouTube expenses and everybody I have to pay was $1,795.97 I mean, yes, that is quite a bit of money, but I see it as it's a business. So, you know, you got to invest into the channel, you know, to get a great result. So please make sure you guys subscribe. Please like this video, comment. Please, please, please. Ain't it beautiful? Okay, so next we're going to talk about Amazon. I know you guys do it too. Now, I don't think I spend that much on myself. Like, I'm not buying expensive brands or anything like that. I feel like I'm simple, I hope. I mean, at least I think I am. So on Amazon, I bought stuff like medication, a vacuum backpack, a makeup bag, an air fryer, some gym clothes, a massage gun, the sunglasses and the boa that came out on the 24 hours at Flamingo. Make sure you watch that one. So for Amazon, I spent a total of $615.59. I know, I know. Hey, I know you guys do it too. We're all a little guilty of Amazon binge shopping. All right, switching locations. Okay, next up, I do want to talk about things that I actually like to do for fun. So this is going to include all the eating out that I did for the month. Again, not related to YouTube. This is just eating out that I did for myself and, you know, went out with friends. Plus all my Uber Eats. I can't lie, guys. Um, I have a little bit of an obsession. Um, I love crab. You know the one that comes like in the bag and they put like the spices, potatoes, corn? Ugh, I love that. And if I can, I'd rather eat it honestly at home than going out to the restaurant. Oof, another big one, guys. $727.43. I don't even think I'm going anywhere that crazy. It adds up, guys. And then also like random little things like for my T-Mobile, for my phone, I pay $85 a month. For my streaming services, which include like Netflix, Hulu, HBO, um, all that is $40.47. I spent $50 on grooming. 
plus other miscellaneous. All right, guys, you ready for the total? In the month of January, 2023, I spent $6,329.64. I don't even know what to say. Is this how much being an adult costs? I did basically double my expenses from last year. Last year was about like 3,000 some forth. Now it's 6,000. I know, I get it. My rent quadrupled. I live by myself now and I have way more bills. I am trying to better my YouTube, hence why I hire people like my cameraman or my editor. But yeah guys, hopefully this gave you a good idea of what it's like to live in Las Vegas on your own. So if this is something that you want, you can kind of start planning for it now. I'm only gonna eat out of show one from now on. So now you guys know why I always ask so please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Do you think I spend too much in a month? I think I do. I think I'm gonna have to reevaluate my situation. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Okay, yes, over two million residents do live. If you are at all curious on how much, oh my God, there's so many. That stupid thing on the floor right there. Mm. Oh, sorry, oh, how are you? Okay, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I would watch all of the vlogs before Oh, nice. Do you want to say hi in the video? Hi. hi. <laughs> Meeting all of my favorite YouTubers this morning. Oh, oh hi. How are you? Hi, vlog. <laughs> so if you're at all... Oh, sorry. It pretty much just has everything that you could possibly need. So you... It pretty much... This tree looks like it's twerking. For the gym that I go to, they're all workout classes. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get going before I keep getting any more weird stares for people. In the month of January, for all my YouTube expenses, was 1,700. The sunglasses and the boa that I. Yeah. Okay, I know you guys do it too. We're all a little gets it. Yeah. For my streaming, for my streaming services. <laughs>